YouTube, it's your favorite oddball, Ryan Kelly. <laughs> you missed me guys last week, but that's because I was doing something extra special. I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with my pocket. I know you guys are dying. The suspense is killing you. So you know what? We're gonna get right into it. Three, two, one. Animal Rescue saw the need to help save kittens during the pandemic after city shelters were overwhelmed. Casey Montoya shows us how they did it and how they operate hidden in the hills of Laurel Canyon. Nestled in the hills of historic Laurel Canyon, a pet oasis called Bark Park, known as the most pet friendly house in America. Kristen Stavola runs Rescues Rock. A 501c3 founded in 2016. Kringle was saved at Christmas. They created a kitten nursery with six incubators, IV pumps, and put in a sofa bed for volunteers or vet techs to spend the night to help with around-the-clock care. In the last few years, they've had tremendous success for a small animal rescue, thanks to dedication and support from everyone in the neighborhood. Ooh. Okay, you guys, I'm getting on the highway to add another fur baby to my family. This little cat that I've been watching for a while, her name is Kringle. Kringle has a condition where her balance is kind of off, so she's a special needs kitty. She weeble wobbles, her, she, as she walks, I'll show you guys some videos. It can be heartbreaking, but also, you know, when you watch her, she doesn't know any different. So there's, there's peace in mind in that, you know, so she can live a normal, healthy life. She just, you know, you just have to be a little extra careful with her. I'm changing her name from Kringle to Wendy. You know, I like simple names like Gary, Carl, Wendy. So she's gonna be Wendy, my little cute weeble wobble. She's a girl, a female. Now, Hissy is my last rescue kitty, and she's a female, and I told myself I'd never get girl cats. They can be tricky, at least in my experience. You know, when I was younger, I had tons of cats. Boys are just easier. It's kind of like that in life, right? Just kidding. But, so Hissy was abused and beaten by humans, and I think she was also, was like attacked by cats, which is why they wanted me to foster parent her, to bring her around humans, myself, and other animals, since my animals are animal friendly. I have cats and dogs. Well, when I was foster parenting her, she hit it off with Carl so well, like they became best friends. I couldn't, I couldn't take that away. I, I just can't foster parent animals because I'm gonna fall in love with them. I'm gonna find an excuse. I'll be like, oh, they love my wood floors. Um, so I told myself I'd never get another girl cat, but I've just been, I've had my eye on Kringle and I wanted to adopt a cat that might not otherwise get adopted, a special needs cat. You guys, I have, I'm, you know, I have nine adopted siblings, and on top of that, animals. I think adopting animals is extremely important. You know, there's so many animals. If you ever want to have your heart just ripped out, go to a shelter and look at how many cats and dogs and other animals are left behind or forgotten. It's terrible. So, yeah, here I am going to adopt another girl. And I sh and I know what you're thinking. You're like, Ryan, don't you already have a lot of cats? Uh, does your roommate, you know, that lives in the house with you, Dan, does does is he okay with this? Here's the thing. I haven't told him yet. My logic, listen, I had four cats already, okay? Baby Daryl, sadly, is missing. Uh, he's been missing for a while. I'm praying that some family found him lost and they just don't know uh, and that he's in a loving home. Or maybe he's still on vacation and he's going to come back to me, in which case, by default, I'll be able to get five cats without even having to ask. But right now, I'm owed a cat, so, you know, I'm also a big fan of doing something and then apologizing later. I think that's great logic. It normally works out for me. But uh, I cannot tell you how excited I am to go get this little furball. Oh, I do, baby. We got Kringle. She's super sweet. Already my first little broke blood on both my hands. Uh, when I was holding her and they, we clipped her nails, <laughs> uh, she did not, she did not like that at all. Absolutely adorable. And uh, I'm gonna bring her home. I know, I know, you're dying to meet her. She's actually starting to squirm, so this will be perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I present to you, Wendy. <laughs> Come on, Wendy, do something. There's a, there's a bunch of people watching you. Let's see if I take her out. I already got, she got me pretty good when I first picked her up, um, but that's because I, I kind of went in when she wasn't expecting it, trying to show the people that oh, I'm cat friendly, and she got me pretty good. But here we go, ready? Oh. I don't know if you can hear her, but she's not liking it. Oh, look at how cute she is. She doesn't wobble as much when, when you hold her. Uh, it's more when you when she actually has to walk herself. But sometimes she has spasms, so if I pet her, she might... She might... Yep, see? <laughs> yeah, 
she's not too fond of me just yet. There's moments where she loves me, and there's moments where she wants nothing to do with me. But she has this pouch that I guess I was told CH Kittens love to be held. She didn't like that, but love to be like firmly held. So what it does is it stops them from, from shaking as much. And uh, I don't know. I've gotten her purring a bunch of times. I've gotten her kneading. No, she's not doing it. She's over me. But yeah, she's absolutely adorable. The reason why I wanted to do this video, number one was to show you guys the beautiful new addition to my little fur baby family, Wendy, or I like to call it here at Casa de Kitty. But also, I wanted to bring awareness to adoption. Adoption is super important. Now, I'm not one of those people that gets angry or upset if you want to purchase an animal. Trust me, I, I kind of get it, you know? My dream cat is a Scottish Fold. I've never seen one of those at a, at a uh, rescue, because if, if I did, that cat would be snatched up faster than you could say snatched up. I don't know. <laughs> but I implore you, if you're, if you're interested in, in possibly getting an animal to your family, go to your local shelter. At least look around. Look at one or two. It's going to melt your heart. There's so many animals in there that need homes. Um, it's heartbreaking. So if you can go in there and not come out with a dog or a cat, oh, yeah, well, then, then, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I can't do that. I can't even go in to try to help. Uh, it causes problems. I went in there to help, and I ended up foster parenting Hissy. You know, they're like, oh, you're the perfect, you have cats, you have dogs, you're a human, you love animals. Can you just take her for a little bit and, um, and kind of bring her back to life? Because she was beaten and abused, or she wanted nothing to do with people or animals. So I brought her to my house, and uh, sure enough, there's no way I could have ever gotten rid of her. But enough about adopting. Back to Wendy and how cute she is. Here's some videos of her playing. I want to melt your little hearts. Aww. You baby girl. You wanna pop your head out? Yeah. Alright you guys, I wanted to keep this video short and sweet. It's about the animals and not me. Comments are super important on this one. Comment down below. Let me know if you've adopted an animal. If so, what'd you name it? How'd it work out? Hopefully it's the love of your life, the family, the top dog in the family. Let me know if you foster parented. Have you foster parented a gaggle of animals or just one? I really want to know. As usual, you guys, please like and subscribe. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support. My pal, my pocket pal, Gary, right here, has a message for people who don't love cats. What did you want to say, Gary? Here, get close. Let him know. What did you want to say? Gary, this is a family-friendly, come on, bad kitty. <sighs> Toodles.